This week on Midmo J, it's snagging season. It starts off a little slow, but then it definitely heats up. We live about two hours from the nearest good snagging hole, so our mornings always come early during snagging season. And no fishing trip is complete without a balanced breakfast, so we stopped at McDonald's and fueled ourselves for the day. Having ate breakfast, all that was left now was to go unload the boat and start fishing. We were greeted at the boat ramp with a long line and a 30 minute wait. That's never good. While getting the boat ready, I spied a familiar face, so I thought I better go get Roger's take on the day of fishing ahead. Mr. Holt, do you have any words of wisdom this morning to help us in our venture to find the elusive spoonbill? Get in the water. <laughs> fish yet because last year I was driving whenever they caught the fish and I have this sixth sense for where the fish are gonna be I can smell them out I can smell them out with the depth finder them they're not they don't have that intuitive feel that I have Three be stuck together here. About three of those guys are gonna think they have a fish one. They caught. Yep, that yep. you caught the Drag, other ones. Dragging them over there now. They're dragging us over. This will be interesting. Well, we're floating that away. You want to just float, or you want me to start it up? That is gonna be one nasty mass of hooks. Now what you got here is you got you got the good old now. What we've done is we've hooked, we've hooked about two different boats. This is a three-way tangle. Oh wow! We got all of them pretty much. All in all, the first day I got the snag was pretty uneventful. We didn't even really get hung up all that much, and it seemed like everybody was catching fish but us. So it was a very, very aggravating day. So we closed out day one and headed home. Day two of snagging. Yesterday we didn't catch too much or anything. We didn't. There's a lot of fish caught in the water, but we didn't do real well. Today I am fishing with my cousin Dustin Mosley, who is currently trying to get Dylan rigged up because Dylan don't know what he's doing is normal. You've seen him before. He he's he's kind of known far and wide as as a a snagging professional and a catfishing professional. At least that's what he thinks. Um, He's known far and wide because he tells everyone far and wide that he's the best. Um, whether that's true or not, that, that's a little bit debatable. Fishing the same holes this morning. We're up here on the Lake of the Ozarks. Currently, we're about 34, 35 foot of water. There's several holes that run down this channel. Uh, the spoonbill tend to stay on the bottom for the most part. Later in the day, they'll typically float up off the bottom. Uh, we're using heavy weight and large sinkers. Pump reel, pump reel. Pull up, reel down. Pull this reel. Hey, dude. Yeah, it's not fish. Pick it on. Hey, son, go to you. Fishing, boy. 
Easy now. Easy. Big old spook. Yeah, he's. Yeah, it's not big, but it's. Oh, it's keeper. That's 40. That's 40. Yeah. Happy. That's, well, that's 45. That's pushing 50. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a big old male. Right, big old male. <laughs> that was a workout. I feel great. <laughs> I like this drill. So we shot down with the, the hole that we caught the fish in earlier that Jennifer caught was about probably six miles up the river from where we are right now. Right now we're in another hole that we've had luck in in the past. We didn't catch nothing in that hole. We're kind of moving down. Dylan's asleep. Uh, hey, Dylan's asleep. He's pretty much lazy, so he won't catch any fish because of that. I got you. I can gaff it if I need to. Yeah, you're going to have to gaff it. This is nice fish. This is nice fish. We got a gun in the hair, boy. Come on, fishy, fishy, spoony, bam. This is solid fish, guys. Everybody be ready. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Good job, Dustin. He's a keeper. Oh, he's definitely a keeper. Nice and easy, Jason. Nice and easy. Yeah, I seen that broad bounce once you hit that thing. That's nice. This is nice fish here. This is nice fish. Just take her slow, take your time. Ah, oh, Spoonie! One, right in the tail. Two. That's a nice one. Okay, what's in the tail? Come on, get him all up. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Mm. Keep him up, son. Get him. He's right in the tail. Barely big hooked. Bastard. Big bastard. Get him, Dustin. Just got him. Got him. Everybody calm down. Ooh. Coming in. Fuck Jennifer. Jason. Woo. We got three fish on the side of the boat, oh. baby. Jason. We spent the rest of the day trying to get Dylan a fish, but was unsuccessful. And like I said, it's probably because he's asleep half the day. We snagged the deep holes all the way back to the ramp, loaded the boat up, put everything away and got ready for the long drive home. We finished the day with some well-deserved Mexican and margaritas and knew today was just the start of the season. Some of us were less fortunate than others. We have a lot more fishing trips planned this spring, but for now, as always, thanks for watching.